Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus or I Shinobi. I'm gonna be honest, a little bit terrified of this episode. In the last one, we saw the arrival of this Hawkeye character who pre pretty much one shot all of Don Krieg's fleet. And it appears he has come to finish the job that he started. Meanwhile, Nami has stolen the going Mary. So who knows how far she's already gone. And I think this entire scenario has just plunged into chaos. We're gonna hop right into the episode. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, hit that big blue bell so you miss any future episodes. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's just hop right into it. Oh, wait, it's kind of weird. There was no recap. I feel like there's been a recap for every episode. Oh, yeah, so she was looking at the wanted poster. Oh, that looks like a book. Oh, it's a book of wanted posters. Ooh. Arlong? Well, if he's got a bounty, yeah. 20 million? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude. I understand. Hello? I understand wanting to go after a bounty for that much money, but if he's that big of a bounty? Okay. <laughs> did she like kick them overboard? Oh, they, she totally did. Yep. Bye. My boat now. Business. Strictly business. Just playing the long con. It's so sad, though. You can tell she genuinely sort of respects them, but maybe not because she's stealing the ship. So who knows? I'm honestly surprised these dudes were able to get onto the, the sea restaurant and not be washed away. Oh, and that's when Hawkeye showed up. I just don't understand how that's possible. A sword cut through an entire ship. Who can match that? <laughs> it was a gift. You're gonna take that? What? I mean, I guess that is smart, yeah. He's already developed a bond. Zoro's gotta respect it. Won't well, like Luffy when he's angry. <laughs> he knows what he signed up for. Yeah, there's kind of like a fight going on. Or about to be going on. I just want to see this Hawkeye, dude. There he is! The candle! The candle is so extra. Is his boat a coffin? It's in the shape of a coffin. I say you cut your losses and dip. Is that a cross necklace? Dude, do we see Don Krieg fight him? That would be sick. Do you have like a oh Mihawk? Can I call him Mihawk? Does Hawk got like a title? Dude, he looks sick though. What? World's strongest man! Yeah, I guess we can do that. I would I would say no one here stands a chance against him. But he knows he's been to the Grand Line. Mm. Oh, that's it. Oh, that is enormous. Dang, dude. Oh man, that's like Zoro's idol. Then he wants to be the greatest swordsman. Oh, he's got some cool eyes too. Oh, I hate that small sound. Yeah, this is this is meant for him. I I I would say stand back though. He just cut a ship in half. Okay, dude. Oh, it's like pitch black. My man just smacked it. Zoro's ready. God, that's an enormous blade. Zoro, I would not take him on, dude. I don't mean to underestimate Zoro, but this guy seems built different. He's got his hands. Oh, shoot. His eyes look really cool. I don't know, man. This makes me nervous. Don Craig's just ready for the show. I feel like Nami will have a change of heart. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Mm, that's what I'm kind of saying. Maybe a little bit of both? Yeah, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. And we know! Well, I didn't think we'd make the, meet the strongest swordsman in the world this early on. Oh. Oh, he's got another little blade? Is he just disrespecting him? Dang, he is! No shot, really? 
Bro, maybe that's how like Zoro will stand a chance. Frog in the well, dang. He wants. Oh my god. He wants to put Zoro in his place. Bro, it's just a tiny little dagger. Oh my god. That was that was cold line though. Frog in the well. Oh my gosh, no. No, dude. It looks like it. Dude, he's so cool looking though. I just realized, what's like the famous pirate, not pirate, the, the swordsman. Is it Zoro? Like the movie. I think there's like a movie. He kind of reminds me of him. I don't know why. But it's like ironic because Zoro, I, I think I got to look it up or something. If you know what I'm referring to. Uh, he's fighting with passion, ambition. Yeah, he's not even using his actual blade, bro. He may as well be blocking with his hands. Oh, he looks like he's pushing him. Just a fail. He's fighting for her. Oh. See, I'm glad we have this backstory now. He's gotta pop off. He has to. He's getting the flashbacks. God, this Zoro. Come on. Precision. No. Oh, he can tell. Hey, hear him out. Zoro fan club, take it easy. Thank you, Luffy. It's not your fight. It's like he kind of, I don't know if he respects Zoro, but he realizes he's fighting for someone or something. Oh, shoot. Tiger trap? Oh, oh no. He actually stabbed him. Why is this art style? This is crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, this man's cool! It's like he's testing him? He is testing him. Hell yeah! I think he's gaining respect for him. I like it! Wait, what if he like mentors Zoro? Hell yeah! I'll sink you? What? As in kill him? Luffy is trying to hold himself back from jumping in, but he knows he shouldn't. Oh! There's no way he gets hit again. Oh! They broke! He still has the one blade, yeah. He's saying, strike me down. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. That is metal. Jeez. Mm. Sanji's seeing who Zoro is. Dude, Mihawk is built different. Yeah. He didn't get a single strike in. Okay, now they can jump in. Zoro's gone. Oh, Luffy is pissed. I would love to see Luffy fight him. Now they all know. Oh, no. Luffy's fighting with too much anger. <laughs> yeah. What happens if Luffy is cut by a blade? Like, wouldn't it bounce off or bend around it? Oh. He knows it wasn't a killing blow. He didn't want to kill him. Like I said, he gained respect for him. Let's go, Usopp. Hell yeah, baby. Dracul Mihawk. Dang. Dude! The world building, baby! Hell yeah. Mm. He respects him. Pirate King. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, greatly. He'll be there eventually. Jeez. Mihawk is like glad that he's inspired him like that. <laughs> he's definitely making a return no dude there is no way you're this dumb don krieg kill him miyok no dude he will literally obliterate you don yeah for real how stupid are you he one shot your entire fleet with a sword he is probably right behind you it is such a mess now he's got the straw hat oh the grand line Hell yeah. Okay, dude, why is Don Krieg so confident? I respect his confidence, but it's a little dumb. Oh, shoot, it is going down, baby. I can understand why that would work better as a standalone episode, because that was a, a badass fight. Probably my favorite of the series thus far. Seeing Zoro's resolve, I, the villains like that are what I was expecting out of One Piece, and it delivered. And it's the world building. Like I said, we we're expecting this guy to show up once again, because he's saying, come find me once you're strong enough. I'll hold this spot just for you. He sees the resolve in Zoro. He sees the determination. And now it's set up this big kind of ground war between this restaurant ship versus Don Krieg's ship. And then we also have to see Usopp and them going after Nami to try and stop her. But I think she'll have a change of heart. Guys, that's been it for episode 24 of our One Piece Watch. Through. Drop a comment down below if you thought the episode without my reaction. And as always, hope you guys have a wonderful extra day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.